Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and this is the first look of the new Cortana app for Android. So Cortana was first made available on uh, the Windows phone. It's a personal digital assistant very similar to the Google Now and Apple Suite. So now uh, Microsoft is making this available to Windows PCs as well and uh, in future it will be available to Android as well as iOS so that will be a cross-platform uh, digital assistant and uh, now uh, we have a leaked version of uh, the Cortana for Android so this is the beta version and this is still not a complete version so there might be a lot of changes coming up uh, later so right now we'll see how Cortana for Android looks like so right now we have installed Cortana on our Android phone and let's open it so you can see here first time when you open it it will gather um, all the stuff from based on your account so you need to enter the Microsoft account uh, and then once you have entered you can see it will bring up uh, uh, the local news so you can see the weather then now uh, uh, the, the, the restaurants um, and other stuff from Foursquare and Bing so that's how it pulls up uh, data and uh, if you go to settings you can see home then you have a notebook feature which is where you customize uh, almost everything uh, on this uh, app for this app so you can see here you can edit the name you can add favorite places uh, in the settings you have uh, the default option then uh, for each option you can set how you want to uh, have uh, Cortana uh, give you data like say for example eat and drink you can see uh, top recommendations from uh, Foursquare restaurant recommendations and how often do you want this uh, recommendation to come in so this can be set for events, finance, um, uh, uh, movies and TV, uh, music, uh, news, sports, travel and weather. So uh, everything can be set based on your personal preferences and once that has been set, it will show up uh, in, the, in the home screen. This is the home screen and you can see uh, all the data available right now. And uh, you also have uh, reminders which, uh, which can be configured using the voice assistant. So now let's uh, see how this works. So uh, we'll uh, use a few commands and see how this works. So this is remember this is just a beta version so this is not a final product so uh, we'll have a detailed review when the final version is out so right, right now we'll test with few commands so some basic commands and see how it works so let's start off uh, the test any chance of rain today yes looks like it will near null here's the forecast so it does uh, work pretty well uh, the voice recognition is uh, pretty spot on and uh, does work really well now let's see some um, other functions dial 121 great let me call 121 so you can see here it's dialing and uh, it works pretty well it's it's not really fast as of now there is some lag here and there now let's see uh, some other functions create an alarm so you can see it it's asked the time but uh, you cannot uh, input uh, using voice that's not available right now uh, let's see some other functions create a reminder Again, it doesn't ask uh, for uh, the, the place or time. You have to manually input uh, the reminder. So uh, that's something uh, not really f f completed on this uh, version. So this is just a basic version. So as I said before, it's a beta version and uh, not really uh, perfect. Open the web browser. So it doesn't open app actually. Let's see one more command. Open Google Chrome. So it's not opening apps right now. It's just basic commands. Um, it's not. Um, it's not opening the apps as of now. So probably that was uh, just because it's still under development. So it's not working out. So but basic commands like creating alarm, uh, dialing a number, and um, say for example you get a data based on uh, whatever preferences you have set. So those things are working. So it's a basic version. So that's the Cortana app for Android right now, which is uh, still in beta version. Uh, if you if you want to get this, uh, you can just hit the link in the description, download the APK, and then get started with this app. So we have uh, tested this on our LG G4, and uh, some of the commands did work properly, no issues. So there was a lag uh, here and there, but uh, still it's it's a beta version, so it's not a complete product. So we'll have a complete review later when the official release happens. 
so that was the cortana app for um, android hope you like this video if you have any queries drop in a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with the queries if you like this video do hit the like button and also subscribe to your youtube channel for more videos thanks for watching this video have a great day